back. Who I got with me today? What's going on, man? I got the crew. Welcome no. to Real Ports. Good morning, everybody. Here at Hallover Inlet, we got live wells full. We're looking for tuna today, maybe some mahi. The boys are gonna try to do a full day with me, topless, and it is hot. There's not a cloud in the sky right now. So let's see how long they can do. I'm hoping that uh, we find fish early, maybe take a little break for lunch or maybe go do some slow pitch digging and uh, see what today brings. But right now it is the middle of spring, May, pr pretty much the best fishing of the year. If you wanna fish South Florida and you're looking to get out here, you don't have a boat, go to realports.com, check out our guide directory. A lot of good guides in there they'll get you out here on this hot bite. I mean, there's cobia around right now, sailfish, tuna, yellowfin, blackfin, mahi. They're all out here. This is the time to go. Today, we're definitely gonna catch them up. I think we're gonna get a couple blackfin tunas, get this boat all redded up. Oh yeah. Okay. Trying to target some blackfin. Okay, okay. Y'all think you can handle the whole day out here? Yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah, for sure. For sure. Can the fish handle me? Can they? Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see. Look at this. See blue black backs on them, how much different they are? Oh, yeah. Way better baits. There we go. Look, they're eating it right. Fish on baits. A little bit. Incredible. Dude, we're in the primo baits. Much better baits. I got that. Baits. These baits are primos. We are loaded up on bait. We got a bunch of threads. They just keep coming in too, man. Nice. There we go. What a treat to be able to catch these nice baits right before a fishing trip. You know you're gonna catch some fish. We just gotta find some current today. There's no wind out here. When there's no wind, sometimes there's not much current. But we'll see what we can find. Find some of that blue water, make it happen. Really nice weed line out here. Only about 160 feet. There could be some ahi on this, but the beauty of the spring right now is that you can catch everything at once. One depth, one area, get cobia, sailfish, tuna, mahi, mutton snappers, everything in this depth. And we'll take a big mahi, of course, invite him to the party. 
I'm looking and they're here, I see them. That water. Sometimes they come out of like from underneath. Them. Yeah. Dead swordfish up there. Probably a mako around here too. Oh, there's fish behind them. There's dolphin behind them. That is a nice one, baby. This one's got one too. Good job, man. There's a bunch That's of them around here. Yeah, nice yeah. one, gaffer, buddy. In the oh, oh, you got a bigger one. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Easy, you got him. You got him. This one, we gotta open up that hat. Nice. Nice, Mahi. We're gonna do it on this side, okay? Pump up, pump up for me. Pump up. Exactly. Oh my, oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. He spit it. He spit it before he hit it. Oh, he's out. 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 Oh, he's going to eat it. He's going to eat it. Real, real. Let's go. Yes, sir. Damn. Hold that bitch, buddy. That's your fish, man. Yeah. Good job. So, basically, we find the swordfish dead in the middle of the ocean, probably having by some makos. See the, way, see the way the bill's missing and the way the tail's missing? Yep. We get a bait out there. I see a mahi. Side casted it. These are nice mahi. Yo, look at the colors on this one. Yeah, literally. We're getting some nice mahis. Yo, we're in the meat. Get the gaff. Beautiful fish. I can flip him, to be honest. Let me see. There you go. Maybe you can grab the leader, but come up here and come up here really quick. Oh, come oh. up here quick. Alright, I'm coming, coming. Time. Let me know. I'll let you know. I told you we get a bite on the flat lines over here. You need the de hooker? I got it. Can start back now? You got a real ass fish there, buddy. Did you yeah. get it? Here. I think it might be, no, I got it. I think it might be a tuna. Nah. I think it is too. Here, you know, bring, the, bring the line in and put that uh, weight in the rod holder. I might have to chase him here. Wait on that, wait on that. Right. Save the big ones too for uh... Oh, he's going down. Yeah, baby. That's the fish we're looking for, man. You yeah. guys saw it, I didn't even see it. I saw the thing get exploded the shit out of one. You know what that is? Uh, a big old tuna. I think we know what to hear. Take this right. That's target species right there, boys. Oh, yeah. See how he's going down? Remember, these are big fish, buddy, so you're in it for a little bit. Blackfin. Big blackfin over here. Big blackfin ate the long bait. No current today, but we made it happen. I'm gonna stay right where you're at. 
big fish big fish baby we're gonna keep them right here on this side i see the bimini all right hang on hang on you're gonna be able to grab that leader too i'm gonna go around them here see the way he's doing those circles Black them, baby. Bring it up a little higher for him. Go down and get him. In the boat. In the boat. Nice Good fish, job, buddy. buddy. Nice blue. fish. Yeah. yeah, there you go, Lewis. Oh, yeah. Nice black fin. The boy's doing it. Yep. I'm just here driving the boat. You guys are doing all the work. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Good stuff. I got to look right in the artery. <laughs> That's Good. Drag that behind the boat. Get the fish flared. Nice fish. Shot him right in the artery, dude. Yeah. Hell yes. Now get ice on top of him. Beautiful. Nice one, right? Yeah. I didn't I saw it like right when it hit the water. I thought it was I thought it was a bird diving. He hasn't ran yet. He hasn't seen the boat. This is a cuda. That's definitely a cuda, 100 percent Stinky yo cuda. Today we're out here offshore fishing and typically anytime we're using live bait especially when we're in depths of 200 to say 90 i'm always fishing wire leader and that's why we're fishing the juju stinger rigs out here this is a uh, number six wire with a five out hook number two treble hook the treble hook really does the majority of the work whereas the j hook is really just to hold it in the nose there a lot of the times you end up catching these fish with the treble hook so that's why it's important to have especially when you're fishing big baits today we're fishing a lot of blue runners some threadfin herring so these are big baits here and we want to make sure we get those bites we even have a few gogs out here on the rod we're fishing 20 pound mono we're tying a bimini twist and then we're going to a fluorocarbon leader 40 pound and then we're tying this these are pre-made ready to go so they're really easy and a hot bite like this we caught dolphin we caught kingfish we caught tuna we had barracudas i mean we've caught them all while we've been out here and i'm constantly having to re-rig so instead of having to retie all the time we got these pre-made stinger rigs you guys can get these on livebait.com you get 10 at a time keep them in your box and they're just great to have make it way easier rather than retying every time that you get a leader that's all kinked up on you or something just gets you back in the game and out here time is really limited we're going to be fighting daylight here pretty soon trying to get a few more bites so not spending time rigging up really pays out huge nice fish so he's going to have to run around the boat so let's get all this shit out of the way for him good stuff bro. look at him out here Oh, nice yeah. work, boys. Hang on, let me get nice, a photo. Nice, nice. Look at me. Both you guys. Crazy. My arm's tired. My hand's tired. Let's get you another one, man. Yeah. Get the monkey, boy. Get those hooks out first for me, guys, and watch out. You need to tell me about the, the Whisper Gray deck. What do you think about the deck? Should I have gone white? Is the Whisper Gray pretty comfortable on your bare feet? What do you think? Should have gone white. It's very hot. Tell me straight up how hot it is. It's like uh, stepping on a sidewalk that cooks eggs. You could straight up boil an egg in two seconds out here. Oh yeah. Crack awesome. an egg, scramble it up. What do you think of the trip so far? How'd we do? Great, great. Catching tuna, mahi, had some kingfish bites. And all the fish. Nice Mac. There you go, go around the other side. Boom! Nice fish! In the boat. Oh shit, don't get it. Nice king. Not that Beautiful. There you go, man. How's that? The gaff master. Oh yeah. You're catching some fish today, bro. Nice fish, fish man. Looks like a demon. On the live tackle, baby. I can get out. The wild way home. I can get out like this one. This thing is peeling. Nice fish, bro. So much for getting the kite out. Yo, we might have to chase this fish. This might be a damn yellow fin. I think I, it was big. What was it was on there, the gog? Gog, it was big. Right. It was a very big fish. Hang on, you got a lot of line on there. How many yards is on this? A lot. Finally, this That's fish will make fish. my day. What do you mean? I'm out, I'll take care of it. God damn. Closer actually. Yo! Oh, he's coming towards the boat. Hang on. Backwards. It's a black pin backwards. <gasps> I told you. It's huge! I told you.
black pin backwards. <laughs> Let's go! Holy oh. shit, come get your fish. Take it over. Yeah. Oh, thing's huge! What? Let's go! Black pin backwards, what? Told you, hooked in the wheel, baby. Hell oh, yeah, that's a yeah, fish. Yeah! That's a big fish, dude. That is a huge black fish. Let me get that rod out of the way. It's a gaff. Holy crap. All right, guys, we just caught this massive tuna. My first tuna, probably gonna be my PB for a long time. We hit the bait. I thought it was a tuna. Took about 300 yard run. Started thinking it was a shark. Got really heavy. We get the tuna to the boat. It's a shark. It's a cobia. Wait, it's a tuna. Gaffed it. Insane. Good move. There's a setup on the juju rigs here. That's what we're saying. Yeah, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. You said this boat was little earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I so how do you feel about this boat with no top on it? Yeah, it's good. Uh, first time being on a little boat this far. Out, how dare you? It's fun. Como te atreves? It's not that little. It's uh, it's very convenient, I think, for what we're doing, just the amount of people we're doing. And uh, I feel like with this, it's more fun. Like, you have more control over what you're doing. And I don't know, I like fighting the fish instead of just like grieving it up. It's, it's a better experience to be on here. And it's like a better fishing experience to be on this boat and like just working and cleaning and maintenance and yeah, I like this experience way better. I've had a great time today. You heard that very interactive experience here for the boys. They kind of, I kind of just drove the boat today. They kind of did all their own thing. I mean, we're cleaning out. So we just got done kite fishing here with helium balloons and I pretty much only use these balloons just a couple times here. Once you use it all day, it's pretty much junk. So um, take the balloon off. Of course, do not put this in the ocean. Protect our oceans. Turtles will eat these. Everything will eat these. And this is just disgusting to see this floating in our ocean. So this is going to come off and be very carefully thrown away and make sure it does not end up in our ocean. Balloons, we find them out here all the time, especially when there's a west wind around Mother's Day or something, they're always floating out here. We always try to pick those up. But more importantly, you know, if we can control what goes in the trash, what goes in the ocean, stuff like that, I mean, it's uh, it's our duty as fishermen. Uh, and we owe it to Mother Nature. Big dolphin underneath them. Big dolphin underneath them. Yeah? Big dolphin. Watch it right here. Three, two, 
line right there, right there. Grab it. Hold on. Right there, free line, free line. The dolphin's behind us. Behind us? Oh, yeah. Oh! Yep, oh, he's still on there, he's still there. Smaller one, grab another rod. There might be grab another rod. Could be squeeze. Yo, that was sick. There you go, grab that one. I saw that bird from like a mile away all too. Right. The bird all the way, probably about a mile out. Chased the bird down, saw it diving. Found a school of mahi. Nice dolphin. That might be another mahi. Oh no, here he is, here he is. Get the gaff, get the gaff. Right here. Hang on, you're gonna leave yours in the water a second. Let's see if there's another one with it. Alright. That big boy. Might want to move the gaff then, because I need to go around. This is a nice mahi. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, for sure. Good one? Oh, yeah. That's a nice Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is there my I think there's more. Let him, let him look up. Oh, look how gas. blue he is. Look, look at that blue eye mahi. <laughs> nice and blue. Yeah, let me get the release on that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, maybe that's how it's done. <laughs> what a day out here of offshore fishing we were in the fish pretty much all day i mean we caught a bunch of fish we lost a bunch of fish we saw some cool stuff including including that floating swordfish that most likely got sharked probably a big mako shark they're known for chopping off the tails as well as the bills and uh, i thought we would see one close by but we didn't we caught dolphin today, we caught tuna, we caught kingfish. We just had a sailfish on top that we tried to get tied on. Um, just a plethora of bites out here and it all started with good bait being pre-rigged. It's all in the planning out here. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. The boys wanna get another fish out here. We don't really have enough ice so I set up right by the inlet just in case we get a trophy fish here while we're kind of calling it quits. Um, if we get one, we'll run back in really quick, get some more ice, or maybe just even release the fish. But today was just awesome. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. If you do like this, please hit that thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. I just want to know if you guys are enjoying these videos. Also, subscribe to the channel. It does help us. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers right now. We're close. I've been slacking, but I'm going to try to put out more content, and we'll try to get there as a group. We're all in this together. Help your neighbor. My name's Captain Mike. This is Real Ports. Tie lines, everybody. Every good trip, you already know, we're over here at the Hollover Fuel Dock, Marina. Everybody's got two of them today. This is how we do. I already know. Oh my God, check it out. Oh, look at that. Does it get any better than that? Cookie, chocolate chip cookie with the vanilla on the inside. Who the hell makes this? Klondike? God damn. Killing me over here. <laughs> good stuff, man. Good way to end up the trip. For sure. Cheers. To a good day of fishing. Good day. Thank you, Captain Mike. There you go. <laughs> Let's take back all that small boat talk. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>